Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Roz and I'm the owner of Coconut Coast Candles. I like to make videos on how I make my concrete candle jars and other concrete decor items. Today I'm going to be making a couple of candle jars. These jars are going to be made with a new mould that I recently received from Canadian Silicon Moulds. These guys were really awesome to deal with and they are ones that have my logo embedded into them. I'm going to be making two, one with a solid colour and one with a marbled colour and the purpose of the video is to show you how I make them and try and avoid getting any bubbles appearing in the logo. So if this is something you would be interested in then please keep watching. Okay so we'll need approximately 230 grams of cement ore and a couple of grams of the colour that you want to use. Always remembering that if the colour you have is a little bit too dark, you can always add a little bit of titanium dioxide to make it a bit lighter. Now, I've already got my cement all in here. I've separated it in equal portions, one for the colour and one for the white colour. So I will put a couple of grams of the black that I'm going to be using today. more okay and also a couple of grams I don't need to measure this one out because I know that this little spoon is exactly right okay so we can get rid of the scales now always make sure that you tear your mixing bowls back to zero so you have an accurate amount of cement ore. Now I like to mix my colour in before adding the water. I think it just gives you a bit more of an even colour when you're making your concrete jar. Okay, now you will see here I have marked this vessel here and here. Now the reason why I have done this is because in between those two marks is where my logo sits. And as we make the mould or the vessel, I'll show you what I why I mark them. Okay, so we will add the water. Now I'm going to do the water, add the water to the white first and use the white colour first because I think that that sits better over the mould where you have your logo. So we'll just give that a good mix. And remember to always mix your colour in thoroughly so you don't get any coloured spots on your vessel once it's been removed from the mould. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a bit of this white in and I'm going to let it run up over where the mould is. I don't know whether you guys can see in there or not. And then I'm going to give it a good tap. Because you don't want any bubbles sitting where your logo is. Okay, that looks pretty good in there. And then I'm just going to let that lay on its side there. Okay, now while that's resting there, I'm going to mix up the black. again make sure you scrape down the sides give it a good mix
looks pretty good. We'll sit the mould back up now. And just add a tiny little bit more water to the white where that started to set. bit of a swirl. Just scrape the rest of that out. Okay, now we will let this sit for about four hours and I, as I said here where this part of the logo is you really need to give that a good tap and we'll come back in four hours and we'll see what it looks like. Okay so now we're going to make the second vessel which will be just a solid colour. So for this one I'm just going to make a plain white because I have three colours that I mainly stick to now with my brand which is a white, a light brown and also a light green but for today we're going to make a white one. So once again you need to weigh out your cement all. This one's going to be white. Move the scales now, you can move them. And as I said before, make sure you give the colour a good mix in before adding the water. This is just what I find works best. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Okay, once again, I have my mould here and I have it marked so I know where my logo is sitting in there so I know to give it a really good tap in that section there. Now, some people have um, vibrating machines. I don't have the luxury of having one of those and so therefore I just have to rely on giving it a good tapping. Now, honestly, I probably give it a good hard tap for around three to four minutes just to make sure that I have hopefully got rid of all the air bubbles and I have made made a few when I first received the molds and these molds are from Canadian silicon molds and these guys were so great to deal with when I was purchasing them but as I said, you give it a really good tap. The first few I made, I had a few air bubbles there, so I knew that I needed to tap a bit longer or possibly even a bit harder. But now I think I have got the right consistency of everything. Okay, so that one's mixed in enough. So we'll pour this one now. Now I know this doesn't look like it's really full to the top but once I put the black support around it, it will fill up a little bit more. Okay, once again. 
16. I'll just show you on this one exactly how I tap. So I give it a good tap like that. Then I put the cast over the top. And I'll just put that back on there. Okay guys, so that is how I do it. I hope this has been helpful to you and hopefully when they come out of the moulds there will be no air bubbles there. Hi guys, it's now been four hours and I have unmoulded the two vessels that I made early this morning. Both have turned out pretty good I think. The marble one really doesn't have any air bubbles in it at all. I'm really happy with that. The white one does have a couple of small ones there, so maybe a little bit more tapping required. But overall, I'm really happy with the way both of them have turned out. Well guys, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, then please hit the subscribe button. Or you can follow me on my Instagram page at Coconut Coast Candles. Well, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you again. Bye.